Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name's Luna, you can call me Elle. I thought it'd be fun if I talked you through my Doc Martin collection today because I am an enthusiast, I love Abu, I love the brand, I love what they stand for. So I've got a little collection going and I think it would be, I, I just, I love chatting about Docs, so I thought it would be nice to chat with you about my Docs. Without further ado, Let's get into it. First pair of shoes that I wanted to show you are my 1461s. They are just like the classic shoe. But the 1461 was actually my first pair of docs. I got a pair for my 18th birthday and I tell you, I was absolutely chuffed. I think I wore them for two years straight. Like my first pair of 1461s literally saw me through my freshers week at uni. Like they're just, I just think they're the best shoe. I've had these for about a month and I'd probably say these took about two weeks to break in. Um, this bit on the back is like notoriously stiff. I've got a little bit of bounce into it now and I've been using things like Wonder Balm just to hydrate the leather. So they've been reasonably easy to break in, but they are just like the sole on them is so much comfier than I was expecting. Definitely a really great first purchase if you haven't got a pair of docks already. The next pair I'll show you are also 1461s, but these are from the Swarovski collab silhouette of the shoe is exactly the same the leather I think it's the same but it did feel a little bit softer like from the get-go the only difference in these shoes is obviously the chain here and the eyelets are brass I'll actually hold them up both together so you can see them like pretty much the same shoe just this one shingles and then obviously the inside of this one is black with the uh, limited edition mark on the inside I really love this pair but I don't feel like I get enough wear out of them just because I don't feel like the sole is quite as soft as the classic 1461s and also I just I don't want to ruin that bit again these probably only took me about two weeks to break in but I don't find myself reaching for them that often just because I feel like this is just like a little summon summon extra so I only want to wear them when I want an outfit to have like an extra little oomph. My next pair are also 1461s, but these are on the quad sole. I've had these ones since probably about August, and these were an absolute nightmare for me to break in. As you can see, I've got some heel grips in here, which did help, but I got these in a size six because I was like, I am a size six in every other shoe. No. I found with Docs it's always so much better to size down and then stretch them out rather than to go for something that's a little bit too big because then you break them in and then they're always already too big because the leather's still going to stretch. Do you know what I mean? Size down in your Docs. Learn from my mistakes. These are a size 6 and I am not a size 6 in Docs. I am a size 6 everywhere else and a size 5 in Docs. I'm a sucker for a 1461. I, I love having a little bit of sock on show um, and I love that these ones come with little, I don't know if you can see that, they've got little metal bits on the laces. But these shoes and me are not, we're not soulmates, like we're not. So I'll just hold that one up with the DM sole. So you can see like the difference in them. This one also has like silvery eyelets, whereas the Swarovski ones had like, like a brushed goldy copper. Same silhouette of the shoe, it's just, that one's gonna make me a lot taller. <laughs> so moving on to boots, I think I'm gonna go from my least worn to my most worn. My least worn ones, I bought them and I was like, yeah, these are sick. I'm gonna wear these all the time. Um, and I think I've only worn them about three times to the point where these are literally, they literally have dust on them. So the next pair are these. They are my white vegan Jadens. They have the quad sole like the last 1461. They've got this nice little zip up the back and obviously they're vegan so they've got a different tag here. I really like these because obviously they're vegan so they don't have like a leather inside. It's actually like a like a cloth mesh so they're super comfy to wear but I just don't find myself reaching for them because I am such a messy person that I'm just I'm constantly worried I'll ruin them. Um, as you can see these ones already have some marking on them and literally the the first time I ever wore these out of the house, I spilled coffee down myself so all my laces are stained. And I know, I know the point of Doc Martens is to kind of bash them up and make them your own. I've already said that in this video, but I'm just so worried when I do wear these that I'm going to ruin them. I'm going to make a vow. I'm going to make a vow to myself that I'm going to wear these more and I'm going to absolutely wreck them. <gasps> Maybe I'll draw little hearts on them. That could be cute. Little, little Valentine's boots. What do we think? I also think I don't really wear these much because one time I did put them on and I thought I looked really, really cool and my boyfriend was like, mm, you look a bit like Michael Jackson. And do you know what? I got it. Like, I saw it. So quite honestly, I can't really say how long they took to break in because I've only worn them three or four times. And to be fair, they've been comfy each time I've worn them, but I think that has something to do with the fact that they're not real leather. But I can't really say too much on them, you know? So then I have these bad boys, which are my Sinclairs. Got a little ribbon lace popped in here, which um, doesn't look <laughs> very good. It looks like it's kind of got wings. Normally before I go out, I'll um, get the hair straighteners out and I'll like kind of flatten these out so they look a little bit nicer. Complete honesty and transparency. 
these were a nightmare to break in for me. I think I got lulled into a false sense of hope because they're soft leather, but I just really struggled with them. Um, I, I do wear them quite frequently now, uh, but even now I've still got a little bit of slipping at the heel. I did size down in these, so these are a size five, so they should in theory fit me. Let me tuck that in because it's distracting me. Not my favorite pair of boots, but definitely, Definitely a good buy because I really, I really like this detailing. I love the zip. I love the fact that it's actually got a tongue like a normal boot behind the zip so you can completely lace it out and have it as just kind of like a Jaden with this kind of stitching across. And obviously like the milled Nappa leather. It's just, it's a nice boot. It's just, I don't, again, I don't think it's my soulmate. And then the last pair of shoes I have are, they're my babies, my heart and my soul, the, the loves of my life. They are my Jaden Max. I wear these all the time. Look at that. That is just a gorgeous boot, is it not? I love the high shine leather. I love how well they've kind of like broken in and wrinkled. My younger sister bought me some boot charms for Christmas, but they did unfortunately fall off. So I left the ring on for it because I thought it looked really nice with the, with the silver eyelets. They also have the zip down the side, which means I'm not spending 20 minutes lacing my shoes off every day. Just the best shoe. I love them so much. It's also worth showing you that they came with these like yellow patterned laces with metal bits on the end. I kind of thought I quite liked the black a little bit more just because because it's a little bit easier just to style with other outfits and stuff. Sometimes I do take the ribbon laces out of my Sinclair's and I pop those in. But if I'm doing a lot of walking that day I want something that I can like really tighten the boot with and I feel like sometimes that ribbon just doesn't have the same kind of grip. Do you know what I mean? There's a little bit of scuffing down the front of these ones but I actually don't mind. This is one of the shoes that I just I don't mind if it gets wrecked because it like I want it to seem like I've lived in these because I literally do live in these. These are my favourites uh, and look at that platform. I'll show you these in comparison to the DM sole which is a bit ridiculous and I'll show you in comparison to the quad sole like there's there's a little bit extra on her. Something that no doubt added to why I love these so much is that they literally took me one singular day to break in. I walked to town wearing them on the first day and like the sides of my little toes were numb. But I had no rubbing at the heel and I had like no other problems and then I put them on the second day and I was like it's like they were made for me. Easiest to break in, easiest to style, I feel like they look the coolest on me and just like round of applause one time for my Jaden Maxes. I love them so much. <laughs> Moving on to bags, I will show you the biggest one I've got to begin with and then go down in size. So the first one I want to show you is my box backpack. I love this and I get so many compliments on it all the time. I just think it's a gorgeous bag. I think it's lovely and I think I would have bought it if it wasn't Doc Martens and I saw it in a different shop. Um, I love that it's got the yellow stitching down the front. I love that it's got this little slip in here for my ID. Um, I don't actually think I've ever used this for my ID on this bag. I have on my other ones and I'll show you that later. The pocket on the front is like a really decent size. I, I can fit sunglasses, I can fit my purse, I can fit whatever in this and that's really nice. However, I'm not really sure that I like that this one's just a buckle on the front um, because I wasn't expecting when I bought it that I was going to have to break in a bag. This to begin with was so stiff and like to be fair like even now like okay I can I'm I was gonna say I can undo it with one hand. Oh, wait, no, look, I can, but you saw that that was a bit of a struggle. So on the other two bags where they've got buckle detailing, it's actually a push lock, um, and I really would have preferred that on this one. But I guess it being like an actual buckle makes it feel like a little bit more premium. This um, doesn't come with the bag. I bought this uh, just after the first lockdown, actually, um, and it's like a little, it's got a little popper on it, and that's, I put hand sanitizer in that sometimes and just carry it around with me. Because I just think, I think it's a little something extra, and accessorizing your bags is cool. I don't know if you can see, but the straps are double stitched along the top of the stitching for the flap over the top so they're super secure and then to actually get into the bag you have to unpop those poppers there and then pop these two bits out um, which can be a little bit fiddly when you first get the bag like popping them back in but if you're gonna break in shoes I guess I can break in bags too the only thing I will say about this uh, closure is that this is like it's like a screw in so every now and then I do just feel like I have to tighten these up because I would be so gutted if I like yanked the bag open and then it just went flying and I lost it and I couldn't close my bag anymore so I am a little bit wary of that on the inside it's got a pocket which probably I got some ibuprofen I didn't know about. The pocket on the inside is probably about the same size as this one on the front and then it's actually I don't know if you can see but it's got a laptop sleeve in there as well. Also having a few holes here is really great because you can either just have it like really tight or you can fill that bag all the way up still feel like it's quite secure. So this is a bag I take when I go to London and do like a weekend back at my parents. It's surprisingly quite spacious but it is a little bit of a fat to close as you just saw. I don't know what else to say I love this bag. Then I have my most recent purchase, and it is quite possibly 
my favourite bag I've ever owned. I can't, oh, she's so cute. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Oh, are you kidding me? Look how beautiful she is. She's lovely. So this is the heart bag. I bought this because I'm actually going on holiday next week. I'm going on my first holiday away with my boyfriend. We've been together for three and a half years, but obviously like since we got together during the pandemic, we've never traveled before. So, so we're going away over Valentine's day and I thought I need a little bag to do my traveling with, something that's big enough for like a book, my purse, a little camera, like that kind of thing. And they brought this out and I was like, well, I can't not buy that for my Valentine's trip away. Oh, are we going to focus? I love that this front pocket is patent. I think it adds just a little something, something. Uh, and like I said, this one has a push lock. So it's so much easier to get in and out of, which is really nice. But it also feels like very secure, like she ain't going anywhere. But the thing I love the most about this bag is that you can wear it like a satchel, just like that, like a crossbody. Or you can take the strap out and thread it through this bit at the back and you can wear it like a backpack. I'm sorry. Who thought of that? That is genius. I love it. Again, you've got this little ID pouch. I love that that's patent as well as the strap. The strap's patent, which is quite nice. I just think the details on it are really beautiful. And, and I just know that I'm going to get loads of wear out of her because I also saw that they do it on the website in like a baby pink and a lilac as well. And I was like, so, so tempted to get the lilac one because I thought like with my hair, that would look really cute. But I just thought, if I've got a big bag and a little bag, which I'll show you in a second, that are also black, I need a medium bag to complete the set. And also, was I just wanting to buy the lilac one because it was lilac and I haven't seen anything like that before? I think this is just going to be a lot more versatile. I'm going to get years of use out of it. And it's like, it's cooler. Do you know what I mean? Like the lilac one is cool, but she's cooler. And then the bag that I feel like I probably get the most wear out of, of like any bag I own is this little reporter bag. I think, I think she's so cute. Is she not, do you not think she's just so cute? Again, this one's got a push lock, so really easy to get in and out of. It's got this really cool little pocket on the front and also another one on the inside where like, obviously you can't fit your phone in that, believe me, I tried. But it's got this like pull tab on it, which is so cool because it kind of like folds around on the inside of the pocket. So you put your cards or your ID in there and then that tab like pulls the elastic and pulls them up so you don't have to be digging around like in the bottom of your bag like a little rat. Whoever thought of that, they deserve a Nobel Prize. This bag is the perfect size for just, for just going about your business, just meeting a friend for a coffee, running some errands, going out out, best bag ever. It fits my phone in it, it fits my keys in it, it fits my AirPods, a lip gloss, and sometimes my purse, but mainly just my cards because why do I need to take out a purse? Perfect little bag. It also has this little ID pouch like on the other bags and I do use it on this bag. However, if you follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen me post on stories being like, oh my God, almost just had a panic attack in the club because I thought I lost my ID and it was in the back of my bag. It happens every time. Every time I use this, I lose my ID. So in theory, really great. For someone else, I feel like that could be absolutely perfect on a night out. For me, too much of a bird brain. Do you know what I mean? It's like, they're a little family. How can you not love that? It's, it's a romance story. That's what I think it is. I absolutely loved filming this. I love talking about my Doc Martens. I love them. I feel like I could have talked about any of these shoes for just like a solid 20 minutes. So if you want to talk about your Docs in the comments, then please, I would love to have those discussions with you. Let me know which is your favorite pair and favorite shoe or bag or both. Just, just chat with me down in the comments. I've, I'd love to know your opinions. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I put out new videos every Monday. I've done it, I think, four weeks in a row so far, which is probably the most I've ever done something consistently in my life. But if you'd like to stick around, it would be lovely to have you. Give the video a like if you liked it, if you like, and hopefully I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye!